What remains of us when we stand still? What will become of tomorrow if there is no change? Tomorrow itself is a form of change. Am I afraid? No. No one can stop change from happening. No one can force the earth to stop its journey that turns the darkest night into a bright morning. But I do know one thing. The fear of something new can sometimes be as strong as the desire for change. Fear of meeting new people. Fear of leaving the known realm. And starting a new adventure. building. What did he do again? He works as a sustainability manager. Didn't I mention that? No, but that sounds pretty cool. So, what's our plan? Um, I really don't know. I'm just trying to put the pieces together. The message said to join, so I guess... Oh, I gotta take this. It's my boss. Hi, Lara, what's up? Don't worry, I'm fine. Thanks. No, no, I just had to check on an old friend. But everything's fine. Thanks for checking. Is that him? I have to go, Lara. I'll talk to you later. I'm not sure. I think so. Wait, what is he doing? Is he leaving? Hello? Mr. Enchanter's Nightshade? Listen, I don't know who you are and how you got my number, but whatever this is, I'm out. Have a nice day, and please don't ever come back. Wait, wait, would you just wait a minute? If anything, we're just as unsure as you are. We don't even know what we're looking for. How did you even find me? It's a long story. But you are the Enchanter's Nightshade, right? How, how do you even know about this? No one except Ivy... No one knows about this name. The same way you probably know about Deep Pink and that party. You were there, right? I... And you weren't there alone. So what? He was my plus one. You admit you were there! I... was... just curious. So were we. Come on. Can we talk somewhere? We can just get a coffee. Or something. Okay? Hey. I get it. I'm scared myself. After seeing that message on my laptop... I don't even know who to trust. But if we don't try, we'll never know. Yet again, it's totally up to you. Okay. I, I know a place nearby. Just follow me. This is my car. Ah, oh, a BMW iVision Circular. Lovely car. Yeah, thanks. Good afternoon, Caleb. Where would you like to drive? To the coffee shop. Wow. <gasps> Look at the interior. It's even more beautiful than the exterior. <gasps> no way! Is that a crystal dashboard? Oh, uh, well, yeah. But, I mean, looks aren't everything, right? One must have a beautiful soul. Mm, how romantic. Does this beautiful soul also have a name? <laughs> well, I don't give my car a name, that's madness. Well, a lot of people name their cars, even if they don't have a soul. And there are even some people who talk to their cars. Well, I don't. This is just a plain, ordinary car. <clears throat> right. Right. But if you were, we wouldn't judge you. All right, here we are. Coffee shop's just over there. You'll just wait for me whilst I look for somewhere to park and then I'll just come over to you. Okay. What should I do? I 
think they know about you. Good afternoon, Caleb. Where would you like to drive? <laughs> Relax, it's just me. Plain, ordinary car? I'm sorry, you know I don't believe that. I had to tell them something. They might know about you. What do you mean they know about me? I'm not sure, but do you think I can trust them? I mean, we could as well just drive away right now. Well, you can always drive away, Caleb. But weren't you the one who was so curious that you went to a virtual party yesterday? You wanted to know what the three forces are. And if they have some kind of superpowers, so do you. Go talk to them. Don't trust them. But trust your intuition and your powers. You'll be fine. I'll be waiting for you here. Thank you. What would I do without you? Green smoothie, coffee without sugar, and extra sweet hot chocolate. Thanks. So, <clears throat> both of you received this message, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you said you received it on your laptop. Well, how? My laptop is the most secure device in the world. That's why I wondered who could crack it. I thought I had full control over my power. Power? What power? That's a good question. You asked me how I got your number. Well, I have a kind of unnatural connection to the digital world. Unnatural? You're asking too many questions. First, you tell us how you got the message. All right. Well, um... Speaking of unnatural, I... Ugh. You? I got the message through my plants. Cool. Awesome. So you're not going to laugh? No. Not really funny. Uh, <laughs> is this normal to you? Can you talk to plants too? No, but we both got the message in our own way. By the way, you never told me how you got the invitation. Well... I uh, was kind of like you before I got the message. I thought that I was in control of my power, but this... Okay, it was something new. You see, I don't just make electronic music. I actually generate electrical power. Yeah, seriously. Well, one day when I was working on a new track, and then the electricity shaped the space around me. Okay, and how do I know that you're actually telling the truth? How do we know that you're telling the truth? Electrical power. <laughs> Prove it. All right. Um, uh, okay, watch the lights. <gasps> wow. Uh, wait, did, did you just do that? Mm hmm. That's amazing. I know. So, what do we do now? We should find out who sent us that message. Whoever it is knows that we all have superpowers and that we talk to our cars. Well, I don't. Come on. <laughs> we know you do. What's your name? Come on. It's a he. Ooh. His name is Ivy. Ivy. Mm -hmm. But I mean... What can the three of us actually do? A, a DJ, a, a digital soul, and a plant whisperer. The message said that the three forces should join together. Maybe we should do just that. But how? I've never actually used my power. Well, I mean, not officially. Well, let's meet tomorrow at my place. I'll provide a safe room, and then we'll try to connect with the source that sent us the message. What do you say? It's not really a plan. Do you have one? Uh, That's what I thought. We can try. Um, <clears throat> I'm in. Good. Yeah, me too. But why wait until tomorrow? I need to create a safe space. That could take a while. I'll text you the address. See you tomorrow.
Oh shit, I must have fallen asleep. Hello? Oh, hi, Lara. Uh, I'm fine. Sorry, I forgot to call you back. No, I I'm not sick. I just need a few days off. Will that be okay? Hold on a second. Actually, Lara, I have to go. I'll call you later. Hi, come in. Um, are we early? You did say four o'clock, right? Yeah, yeah, come in. Would you like something to drink? No, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, I actually planned to say it's a nice apartment, but I don't think I've ever seen such a messy apartment. Well, I spend most of my time elsewhere, so excuse the mess. Oh, who do we have here? Hey, kiddo. What's your name? It doesn't have a name. Well, that's what you think. Her name is... Shireen. Put it down. And amazingly, she's in quite good shape. She told me you watered her on time. Well, stop talking to my Monstera. Uh -oh. What did she say? Nothing. Um, what did she tell you? Nothing at all. Leave my plant alone. I'm sorry. Anyway, I finally created the safe space for us to start our experiment. And I was able to trace the message back to some sort of source. W wow. Wait, you, you found the source of the message? Not exactly. I found a footprint. It's in the virtual world near a digital desert. After that, it's unknown, even to me. So what's your plan? I can get us there. Then we have to stick to the only clue. We join forces. Okay, so let's go. Kate, can I just ask you a favor? Mm. I know how important she is to you, but can I have Shireen somewhere near me? She's incredibly powerful and she can support my power whilst I'm in the digital desert. Fine. But you have to be extremely careful. Thank you. All right. Put on this device and have a seat. I've never done this before, so I might be a little wobbly. Hold my hands and take a deep breath. Wow. Where are we? This is the border of the known virtual world. Even I don't know what's behind it. All right, let's get started. Uh, think about the day you received the message. Let it inspire you. We'll call the one who sent us that message. Show yourself to us! Finally, my heroes are here. Who's there? Can you hear it too? I can't see anything. You do not need to see me. Be aware that I am here. Who are you and why did you send us the message? We don't have much time. You have to go back and bring me something very important. Without that, any form of change will not be possible. And if the wrong people get their hands on it, the future of humanity will be grim. First, tell us who you are! My name is Gaia. I am the very soul of change. I am the inspiration that gives birth to everything new. That's not real. Did you think you were all alone on this planet? After you connected with your soulful companions? You mean our cars? Who became your best friends? Now tell me, are you surprised that you are not alone on this planet? Why do you need our help? There is a big change coming. The Neuer knew. But like all other big changes, there are some who trust their fear more than their sense of goodwill. And they are trying to prevent this new change. Somehow, they have tracked me down and set a trap for me. Now I no longer have my power, and I need a cosmic gem hidden in a forest to regain it. I asked for your help because I saw how open you are to beings other than your kind. And of course, your undeniable powers. What would you say? How do we know 
that you will use our power for a good cause. I can only give you my word. And I can tell you about those who trapped me. The choice is yours. If you want to help me, I will lead you to the place where the gem is hidden. As I said, at every moment when humanity took a big new step, I was by their side. But in recent years, a group of hackers who call themselves the Cybermess have begun to stalk me. They attack big projects which promise new changes. Their logic is to undo everything humanity has achieved and stop technological progress. If they succeed, you will no longer be able to drive your cars. Ivy is not just a car. He's my best friend. And I can't imagine a world without him. So is Dee. I'm in. I'm in too. Me too. So help me find the cosmic gem hidden. What was that? Key. I sense that there's another being present here. Who? I cannot tell what it is. It is invisible to me. It's them. They're everywhere. No way. This connection is secure. Be careful. I cannot tell you where the gem is hidden, but I can inspire you to find it. What you are today is the result of your past. Bring the element that has always inspired you and brought you joy. Find harmony in your unified power. Can you give us another clue? It's not safe here. I hear the others are getting closer. How do we get the gem to you? In time, you will be able to build a bridge. You must join forces. Only then will the future be bright. Good luck. <sighs> oh, that was crazy. What, what did she mean by that? What, what inspires us in our past? It's so mysterious. We can never figure it out. I may have an idea. Come on. We have to go now. Wait, where are we going? You'll find out. And Key, take Shireen with you. Hmm. Now they are on their own. If they trust in their strength, they will fight off what is coming. If they stay together, they will find their strength. If... And only if... <laughs>